guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Max from the next creation. In today's video, we are going to talk about something that keeps on targeting very many people. Know this before you come to Qatar. Know this before you choose a profession that you want to go to. What are we talking about? Yes, most of the time, we people will talk about the jobs. How to get a job using a site, how to come to Qatar, how to get jobs, the available jobs, the skilled jobs, and such kind of information will give. Because some of the times, this is what we want you to hear, right? But which may not be the right way to what exactly you want, but you want to hear that. What about the truth on the other side of it all that you are not taking into accountability? is carrying out what we call research. Yes, when you know you are going to come to Qatar and you know this is a particular area that I want to work in. For example, you want to come as a security guard. Yes, we have a little platform. Yes, Max Creation TV will talk about security guard. If you're lucky enough, he's going to talk about the whole deep of security guard. He'll talk about life expectations versus reality. He will talk about how much you're going to earn as a security guard. He will talk about overtime. He will work, uh, talk about working a condition. Yes. Also, as a person who is seeking to, to, to do security for your first time, it's also obligate for you to carry out some research. Find out, yes, if I'm going to cut up, what, how much is a security guard pay? Then you come. Max is going to add on what you, you, you've already researched on. And that's where you're going to pick up from him and know whatever Max is going, is talking about, it is the same thing that is really lying within what I research. Then probably he's telling me the truth of what I'm going to have. Because remember, most of the time we come here, we are being lied by either the recruitment agencies or even us, the people that you tend to ask. People tend to hide within. You may find someone is telling you about security, but he has never been security. He doesn't know even how much security you are earning. He will tell you I'm earning 3,000, but he doesn't know. You do not know how much he's earning, why he's earning that 3,000. There may be a lot of factors that are being added together, right, for that cause. So as you come in, you have higher expectations. When you don't have those high expectations, I'm going to do security. Security are earning more. You come to these Gulf countries, you get frustrated. Then you either you put the blame on the person who was talking about security guards in Qatar on the YouTube channel, or you also put the blame to the recruitment agencies, but that they do not tell me, or they did not talk about this. But as you a person, what have you done? That is why it is always very important. Yes, most of the time we are being pushed to the wall. But this is a world of social media. This is a world of connection. What do you have to do? What do I want you to do? Is that when you are choosing an, a profession that you go to, for example, you want to come as a security guard. Yes, I'm going to come as a security guard. What are my career development? How long will I be able to move from one job to another? Now it is very important. You may come to some position where you are being called in one place, meaning that for you to advance from this one job to another, to upgrade yourself even if when you have the papers, it will take time and it's not going to be very easy. Right? So what do you have to do? Make research on something that you want to have. Yes, when you want to come as a housekeeper, look at the housekeeping. Go, Google, what is housekeeping in Qatar? Max will talk about the housekeeping. He will talk about how much you are supposed to get. Then look at the other side. Ask, when I do housekeeping, what other possibilities do, have, do I have to grow by myself, to improve myself, to see that I can even get more salary in one way? That is normally a question that I want my viewers always to ask themselves. It is quite very important. Some of us are out there who will tell you, will tell you what you want to hear. But there are companies that are here that do not even give people off. People are working 30 days for full year. Getting off is that you have to kneel down. Getting off, you have to plead. And it has to be the consent of the people that gave you the job. Either to decide or you have the job or you have off or you do not have. But what about the mental health itself? 
So when you come as a newcomer in this country, you end up being frustrated. You end up ending being frustrated. Why? Because you did not get the information right, which may not be very good at the end of it. You get frustrated. And you feel like you don't want work. You feel like people lie to you. You feel like, you know, you 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 out of that place, which normally happens. So most of the time, I know you will do will not want to hear this, but first of all, try to find out also. Yes, I'm going to be clean. What other what other developments or career development do I have when I go to clinic? When I have a clinic, I can have a cleaning team leader. It's going to be very easy, depending on how long you've been in company. I'm uh, going to have a cleaning supervisor. It will be very easy, depending on as time you keep on growing, the number of years you spend on that company, they give you a seniority at the end of the day. So you end up meaning that career-wise, you are grown. But there are some professions, you come, then you're not career grown. You're only stuck in one position which is not right. So as you're coming to this kind of country, put this in mind. Always make sure you put such kind of uh, information, such kind of check background, research with you, then you put this one in mind. It's going to enable you work in these Gulf countries, be happy, and all whatever you'll be doing will be handled on with the hands of a happiness. Thank you so much for that. Uh, thank you so much for coming back to the channel. It's Max from the Excel Show. See you again next video as we try to discuss more of this. I'll let you know what happens. Remember, apparently right now, let not the agents deceive you of what you call the FIFA World Cup jobs. It's World Cup on a few days we have, like around 40 something days we have. By November, you don't expect to work visas to be given out. So it's better you hold on until February. When the boom will be back again. Thank you so much. It's just a reminder. Next from the next one.